Welcome to ManyOrange. ManyOrange provides single sign-on solutions for Jira, and as we know, that it is the best SAML SSO solution available in the market. So, in this video, we are going to set up Jira single sign-on with Keycloak using SAML protocol. Let's get started with the setup. Click on ManyOrange single sign-on. You can navigate the plugin by clicking on Take a Tour of the Add-on. Now let's proceed with the configuration. Click on Add New IDP. You can select Manual Setup Flow, which gives you access to all the various setup options that we provide to add a SAML identity provider. If you want to configure your IDP setup from the get-go, you can use Quick Setup Flow which we will be covering in this video. Scroll down, and select Keycloak. In the Service Provider Metadata window, you can view the setup guide of the plugin. Here you will get step-by-step -step instructions. So firstly, let's configure Keycloak as an IDP. Log into your Keycloak Admin Console. In the Keycloak Admin Console dashboard, select your realm. Then, click on Clients in the left menu. In the Clients tab, click on Create button at the top right corner. For the client details, you can either import the metadata file from the service provider, or, you can add manually. Here, we would be adding the details manually. For the client ID, go back to your plugin. Select manually configuring the metadata on your IDP. SP Identity ID is used to uniquely identify your service provider. Copy it. And paste it in the given field in the application. Now select Client Protocol as SAML. Then, click on Save. Your client has been added successfully. Now, enter the name of your choice. Turn on the Include Authn Statement option. Set the signature algorithm as RSA SHA256. And, set the canonicalization method as exclusive. Then, turn on the sign assertions. Scroll down, and turn on the Force Name ID Format option. Then in the Name ID Format, select Email. You can keep it as Username as well, which will then, send Username in the Name ID attribute. Now, for valid redirect URIs, go back to the plugin in Jira. Copy the ACS URL. And paste it in the given field in the application. Scroll down, and expand the fine grain SAML endpoint configuration. And, enter the copied ACS URL, in the Assertion Consumer Service Post Binding URL field. Scroll down and click on Save. After saving the settings successfully, navigate to Mappers. Then, click on the Add Built-in option. Here, select X500 Email, given name, and surname option. Then click on Add Selected button. Now, let's configure Jira as a service provider. Go to the Service Provider Metadata window, in the plugin, and click on Proceed. Enter the custom IDP name of your choice. You will find three ways to configure IDP. Metadata URL, Metadata File, or Manual Setup. We would be configuring the IDP manually. For single sign-on URL, go to Keycloak, and in Realm Settings, click on SAML 2.0 Identity Provider Metadata. You will see the Metadata XML file here. Copy the single sign-on bindings redirect URL, and paste it in the field given in the plugin. Now for Entity ID, go back to Metadata File and copy the Entity ID, and paste it in the field given in the plugin. Similarly, for IDP signing certificate, go back to the metadata file and copy the certificate from the tag. And paste it in the field given in the plugin. Then, click on save. You can see SAML settings updated message. Scroll down, go to test and get attributes. And copy the URL. Go to incognito window and paste the link in the location bar. You can see test configuration here. Along with name ID, email ID, first name, and last name, to check SAML request and response, scroll down. Then, close the window. And click on Proceed. In the User Profile section, you can map the User Profile attribute. We will keep username and email as name ID, 
since both are the email address coming from Keycloak. Now, scroll down and select Yes to have separate attributes. Then, for the first name attribute, select first name from the drop-down and for last name attribute, select last name from the drop-down and then, click on save and proceed. From this drop-down, configure the default group that will be used to grant application access to the user. If no group is mapped, then users are added by default to the Jira software users group. And from this drop-down, you can choose which user would be assigned to the default groups. Now, click on View Results. Scroll down and click on Finish. Your IDP is successfully configured. Now, whenever user will try to access Jira page, he will be redirected to the Keycloak after some time. That is the user will be forced to log in via Keycloak SSO. If you want to keep this behavior, click on I understand, but if you want to change this behavior and show both Jira login and Keycloak SSO button, then click on sign in settings. Now, click on auto redirect to IDP option to disable it. Scroll down and click on save. Now, navigate the configured IDPs tab from the left menu. You will find all the configured IDPs here. You can view test, edit, or delete your configuration gear. You can also enable or disable SSO for Jira software and service management. After successful test connection, you will get to see SSO button on the Jira login page now. Click on use corporate login button and you will be redirected to the Keycloak login page for SAML authentication. Enter the Keycloak login credentials. You will be successfully logged into Jira dashboard using Keycloak credentials. Go to the user profile to check the user data. Here you can see user's full name and email ID. Minirange SAML has been successfully configured and tested with Keycloak. Minirange provides best single sign-on solutions. Thanks for watching.